Hi guys, this is Tammy. Welcome to Tammy Time. I hope uh, that you are doing well and are safe. I uh, got another entry to my challenge and there should be one more coming. I don't know what's in their packages so I couldn't really tell you what kind of scoring to give them so I'm just waiting for their package okay so I hope you all understand they were postmarked before the end of uh, the month this was part parched this was postmarked it says the 29th so today is the first so happy April happy April Fool's Day I hope none of you have been tricked or fooled I'm trying to think of a good one to do to my husband but I just can't think of one not yet I'll think of one though I'm kind of a little old to be pregnant so that one won't work <laughs> anyhow guys <laughs> I'm going to show you this is Miss Susan Norcos and I'm going to take you down and I'm going to show you and I hope you enjoy this video um yeah, if you're new, I hope you stick around and come back again. Yeah, we are having a challenge going on. It is my and my husband's anniversary. It was uh, March 15th, but we chose to have an anniversary challenge and to give away $25. So I will be giving that away either tomorrow, which is what, Friday? Oh, I don't know if that other lady's is going to be here tomorrow. She said it said Saturday. Well, this one said Friday, so it is Thursday. Is that right? Yep, Thursday. So maybe they're going to be a day early. We can cross our fingers. I can't cross them, but you know what I mean. They kind of look funky crossed. That one looks pretty cool. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. There. So no matter what, I told the ladies that I would wait for them. So... It's times like these that we have to wait for our friends and family, right? And you are my family. So, let's check this out, Miss Susan Narcos. Check out, she got some pretty butterflies on here, right here on my... And they got bumpy feeling. I like that. I might have to cut them off. And I have been using these envelopes for my journals or sending stuff back. I'll set that over there. She's got it all neatly packed. I was going to peek. I know, because I got it last night. But it's all neatly packed. So I can't do that. It's just wrong. And I didn't get it last night. I got it today. See, I can't even keep track. I'm getting old, guys. I love the Baker's Twine, this pink. I do not have this color. And I do like it. I use a lot of the pink colors. So I will definitely reuse that. Thank you, Miss Susan. And Susan Narco is also Crafty Sue 519. It's Crafty Sue. And she had a challenge going on, too. And I believe she's also waiting. No, maybe. No, I think that she, hers was up, too. So, I don't know. Anywho. Ah, oh, look, she's got this all wrapped, so I can't peek on what's on top. You're good, girl. All right, well, let's see. Let's find the card. Ooh, a slim line, maybe? Oh, yes. This is my first slim line. Well, these are pretty. I like that you didn't write on the envelope, too. But you probably didn't sign it, either. Ah, like all you crafters. Oh, you did. Oh, I love you. Oh, look at this. With love and hugs. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm checking it out. Look at that. It's a slim line. Beautiful butterfly. Two, uh, dimensional. It's, uh, it's, uh, oh, darn it, Tammy. You can't think of what that is. Vellum. Thank you, Tammy. I thought of it. See? I thought of it. Okay. And let's see. Dear Tammy and Michael, wishing you a very happy anniversary with tons more to come. Tammy, this is the first full pocket letter I had no idea what I was doing. Laugh out loud. I hope you like it. Hugs. Sue. Crafty Sue 519. And look at she's got she's got it on the inside. The paper she used on the outside in that little butterfly. Once again. Not a dull one, but a little butterfly. 
and it is yeah that's gorgeous I love it I will pull it up and since I won't be saving the envelope for this but I will be using it in my journaling because this is the perfect envelope to fold over and to put in the journal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm learning these things ladies all right, we're going to set this here, and that there, and we're going to look at her pocket letter. Oh, well, that's the back, and I'm losing stuff. Oh, Tammy, turn it right. Okay, well, okay, let's see. Which way? This way. <laughs> it says, you are somebody special. Oh, I love the carrot. Oh, my, oh, my, the carrot is cute. It's a... A shaker and let's see sorry about the light there it says happy Easter Easter chick happy Easter oh I like the little blue on there you've got and this little bunny oh that's cute oh and another shaker I love these shakers they're pretty cool I have to take them out and play with them <laughs> I love that that must be a die, isn't it? I've never made a shaker card yet. I don't think I have. If I have, it's not been a good one. I've attempted to make them, but no. Now let's look at the back. Let's look, let's look. We've already lost these, so we're gonna put them back in. I believe. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta find her. We've got to find her uh, index card, which is in the middle. And it says, Happy Easter. And it says, Susan Norco. She lives in Florida. Her birthday is May 19th. It's coming up. Her colors are green and pink. I love those two colors, too. Those are pretty colors. Likes butterflies, snowmen, flowers, paper, style. I like everything. Her YouTube channel is Crafty Sue 519. Her Instagram is also Crafty Sue 519. And let's see. I probably need to go over and, and subscribe to all you on, on, on Instagram, but I don't ever get on there. That's cute. I think she made a little pocket, did she? Nope, that's just the ah, good idea. That is your cardstock paper, isn't it? Not your cardstock, your envelope. Yeah, the front of the card, maybe? Huh, I don't know. Pretty. I love this stuff. I have some, um, mm, is it pink and white, I think. Thank you very much. Let's see. I've got some of these little flowers. Almost out of those myself now, so that is going to be something that's going in my stash. Oh, and look at these. Lavender. I love lavender. Oh, wow. These are beautiful. I will be having uh, lavender and making these sticks with the lavender to put in your drawer or something like that. Or, and sashes. So when my lavender comes out, I will have some of the, the flowers. And like I said, I will make some of those. Uh, yeah, I just got two of them here. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Miss Sue. I do love lilacs, or not lilacs, lavenders. And lilacs, but lavenders are, yeah. Uh oh, what is this? Mm -hmm. This is love. Mother. Father. Yeah. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. I'm sorry y'all didn't see that. Some of you know about my parents. My father's gone and my real mother hasn't spoke to me in over 20 years. She's always hated me, so yeah. But thank you, Sue. I know a few ladies that I could make something for. with that and these bows are they pretty gorgeous I like that I wonder what this looks like here 
should get them on something. No? They're just laying in here. That's a good idea, the big bows. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, what kind of paper is that? Makes me wonder what's on there. Looks like feathers. Oh, dirt. That looks like a feather laying there. That is pretty. I like that. That would look good on a man's card, even. Even this one would. I'm not going to... Uh, no, I'm not going to try to attempt to get those back in there. Oh, is this a little rosette button type thing you made? That is pretty. Did you make that, Sue? I like those. I do know how to sew, and I do have a sewing machine. I just want to find something really simple, simply easy, easy to do. Because I'm one of these girls that likes something quick and easy. Beautiful. I like these. They're really thick sponges. I've never seen them before. I like those. They're cute. Love them. They will be used. Boy, if I keep this up, you ain't gonna have nothing in your little thing here. <gasps> Beautiful butterflies. Ah, oh, I already see them. And I have been, it looks like she did too, decorated them up a little bit, glitzed them up. Or, or had, oh, I think we dropped something there. Uh, yeah. Kind of. Got mine all prettied up. I don't even know where it went to. No. Yeah, well, I'll show you someday. <laughs> but she did almost the same thing I did. Oh, yes, girl. I did that also. Made the little... Yeah, wow, that's beautiful. I like that one. I love butterflies. They make me think of people that have gone by, my loved ones. Yeah, they're beautiful. I love them. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it looks like there was some bling. That was beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love, I do love it so much. I love the shakers though. Those are adorable. And that basket. I like that basket. That's pretty. Okay. Now, let's go on with the other goodies here. Because we are already 12 minutes in. Oh, goodness. All right. Oh, she went to the Hobby Lobby. Oh, maybe this isn't Hobby Lobby. Maybe it's Michael's. I don't know. But are these Brad's? Are they Brad's? Are they Brad's? I believe this is what they are. And I want them but I have not seen them I haven't really looked for them but they are yes thank you oh these will look so beautiful they would even look good on my books that I've been making my little books a little cute little piece right there on one of those that would be that another one in my little books Got all kinds. This one too. It's got a little chime, or charmy thing on it. I got a bunch of them. So I got two. I got a gold and I got a silver. Thank you, Sue. Oh my. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that. And I love this too. Oh, you know, I buy from Little Birdie too also. But I did not buy this one. And I was like, oh no, I should have bought that. I should have bought that. Especially when I had to buy one get one. So, let's see. And, and you know, Little Birdie is a very good company. I had a bottle of uh, Pearl Drops, and they, when they when they came to me, they were, I guess, uh, hard on the inside. It, dry, it dried up or something. Well, I contacted the company, and a gentleman by the name of Jim uh, emailed me back, and he talked to me and asked me the questions and everything, and he said it wasn't a problem. He would send me a new one out. And I didn't tell him all already that I had ordered another one, just in, you know, because when that one was like that, I decided, you know, well, it's, I'll just order another one. But then I got to thinking, no, well, if they don't know about it, and nobody calls, tells them, it could be more. So 
I decided I'd let them know and they never told me what to do with it so I just trashed it because it was no good <laughs> but he was very personal he emailed me and asked me if I received it he even emailed me and asked the kinds of crafts that we do with it he wanted to know also what the kinds of crafts that we do with our seed beads and he I guess he, he he says he likes to make things for his wife and puts put on her desk but he just didn't know what to do other than you know some paper butterflies and paper flowers because paper flowers don't die right right good idea cheap good idea no <laughs> the paper flowers last forever anyways they are very personal and they they just he, he just really, it really made me feel good inside that he would personally contact me and ask me certain questions about some of the products. And I thank him for that because that just made me want to buy more from him. <laughs> and they're fast. The stuff got here like within the week, with the time I ordered it, it was boxed up by the next morning and shipped. And it was like amazing. It was like quicker than Amazon, I guess. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, if you're not, uh, subscribe to Crafty Sue 519 Please go over and check her out. I thank you for joining me, and I will be back with another video. I have a swap that I did with a young lady. We had to do sentiments, and her package is kind of thick, so makes me wonder what it is because I know I didn't send that big of a package. I sent her some I sent her some of them books. I hope she showed them. I don't know if she did. I guess I gotta check and see if she's got a channel. I don't think I've ever caught that. Laura Miller. Not sure. I don't think she does. Anyhow guys I love you all. You guys go out and do something you love to do. This is, this is my butterfly that I did. Ain't it pretty? Oh, look at that. It didn't do too bad. I put the pearl drops on it and then I put some diamond dust over the top of each so they look like little diamonds on the butterfly actually. It's really pretty. Gorgeous! Yes, it's gorgeous. Okay guys, now go out and do something you like to do. Bye. Love you.